Um, first of all, I'm getting a few messages here um, regarding it's like communication that is sent and not responded to. And I feel like you're going through this type of a hermit phase where you are keeping your energy kind of uh, restricted to yourself to take care of your own responsibilities, to take care of your own things, to, you know, focus yourself on work and to keep your mind free and unencumbered when it comes to love and relationships. You're at a point where you don't want distraction and you're at a point where you're keeping people at arm's length so that their energies and their problems don't interfere with your productivity and, you know, so that their energies don't destabilize you. So you're at a point where you're keeping your feelings close to your chest as well. So this is the Two of Swords, and it usually signifies, you know, like, um, I'm going to take a little bit of a rest and restoration away from whatever has been troubling me, the mental energy, the, the, the what ifs, and, you know, should I do this? Should I contact them? Should I reach out to them? Should I, how should I respond? Like, you're, you're having none of that. And you're trying to keep yourself grounded and center, and that might mean blocking out some people, blocking out communication, and just, you know, focusing inwards on you. Um, the moon in the background indicates to me that you still have uh, confusion about another person. They're very confusing to be around. They're very confusing when it comes to messages that they send. And they might have a little bit of a playful energy about them where half of what they say they don't mean or even like most of the things they say are just to make conversation rather than to have any substantive, you know, communication. So, and I feel like you're aware of that. And so you're not playing these games anymore. And I hear some of you, you know, kind of thinking to yourself or even saying out loud to another person. I believe it when I see it. So you need something concrete. You need some type of a gesture. Your partner, we have here the Eight of Wands. This is your partner, your love interest. And their energy is all about communication. I feel like when you pull back, that's when they rush in, they move forward. And uh, the Eight of Wands, this is also like communication through, you know, um, some type of an electronic um, method, like text messages, phone calls, emails, um, instant messaging, social media. Um, so I feel like there is definitely a disconnect, physical disconnect between you and somebody that you like. They're either not in your vicinity, you're not seeing them on a day-to-day -day basis, but there's just heavy communication back and forth. So you read it, I feel like you're definitely, you know, you're reading the, the messages. She's definitely reading it. And it's amusing. It's amusing to you. You find it like, yeah, it's fun and a little bit superficial. So the communication, I feel, they're bombarding you with a lot of communication because you're withdrawing. And I feel like some of you are just focusing on yourself. We have here the star and the hermit facing different direction. You're focusing heavily on the things that you're trying to manifest in your career, in your life. Um, I feel for some of you wanting to get a pet, a, a new property, wanting to decorate a house. I feel for some of you wanting to get a career started, wanting to really focus on your work so that you can be seen as um, a triple threat is what I'm seeing. It's like you want to be taken seriously and you want to, you know, be like a major player in your work environment. And I feel as a result of it, you're really hyper focused on getting things moving for yourself. Um, this also indicates a lot of healing, um, dealing with people that might have um, withheld affection and love from you, dealing with people who are not ready to give you what you want and need. And so rather than waiting, waiting, waiting around for them to come around, I feel like you're finding personal enjoyment in, you know, having me time, having alone time, taking care of your things, taking care of responsibilities, and just focusing on you, what makes you happy. I usually think of the star as something that inspires us, you know, like um, doing things that inspire us, um, reading, watching the news, reading the news, focusing on art and music, 
things that really add value to our lives. And I feel like that's what your main focus is on. And as a result of it, I feel like you're not really entertaining the communication so much. You want something substantial. You want something real. You don't want just the superficial communication and the mindless banter back and forth that doesn't lead to any concrete action. And as a result of it, I feel like your partner or the person you're dealing with or the person you're crushing on, they're going through this phase. This is the hermit. And it's like loneliness and isolation and looking into, you know, like, what's the Aquarius up to? Uh, snooping. And even trying to figure out, you know, where are they? Like trying to figure out why has there been a change of heart from your end? Why has there been lack of communication? Why are they not responding? Why are they keeping me at arm's length? Why are they... Um, not coming towards me when I am behaving like this, you know. So they're putting in a lot of effort trying to come towards you. And they feel they're, they're taking their sweet time. It's like physically they're taking their sweet time. But verbally they're saying a lot. And they're doing a lot. Um, they're trying to bridge that gap between you and them. But I feel like they're on their own path. They're on a different route. And you have a lot of other things that you're dabbling in and you have a lot of other things that you want to achieve and accomplish. And as a result of it, I feel like you're not really um, going to wait around, okay? If you are dealing with an air sign, there's going to be a lot of communication back and forth. It's A lot of it is very comical. And I feel like when air signs get together, the energy is very kinetic, you know. It's very humorous. It's very superficial okay um the communication it can be fun lighthearted, but i feel like innately it is very very superficial if you're dealing with an earth sign in particular a virgo um i i feel like there is a little bit of a withdrawal withdrawal sorry withdrawal of affection or like uh, you know they're doing their own things they're trying to find things in their lives they're trying to do take care of themselves and I feel like you're focusing on other things so there might be like an emotional rift between the two of you there might be geographical distance between the two of you now and I don't see much communication if you're dealing with an earth sign or a Virgo sun moon or rising okay so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Arising, and then with the air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Lots of communication. Um, what I'm also sensing here in the second part of the spread, um, I feel like there might be health issues, okay? Um, we have the Judgment card, which is a health card. We have the Nine of Swords, Sleepless Nights, and we have the Sun, which deals with your vitality. So... All three of these cards in combination indicates to me having to go see the doctor, having to pay uh, health bills, you know, like um, uh, your insurance pays for a portion of it. There is your copay. So I feel like having to grapple with that element, uh, money leaving your hands in order to take care of some medical issues or medical bills or needing to see the doctor, needing to take your child even with the son to go see the doctor. Um, I feel like for some of you new parents, somebody's keeping you up at night, and then for others of you, there is also a lot of worries and anxiety like um, regarding work as well. Is so-and-so going to give me that project? Am I going to get that promotion? When am I going to hear back from that promotion? When, I'm at, when am I going to hear back from that job? So there's a lot of things um, that you're really, you have a lot of things going on. And I feel like you're planning the next phase of your either financial achievements or your professional achievements. And I feel like, you know, we end up here with a really good card. This is the Six of Swords. So this is like um, moving away from, from problems and from turbulent times and moving to a place where we can feel a lot more settled, a lot more at ease, and a lot just, it's just a better environment overall. And so whatever health issues that you've been grappling with, I feel like getting uh, a second opinion even is really going to help you get to the bottom of it. And I also see a lot of migraines, a lot of headaches. Um, I'm seeing many of you, you know, as an air sign, you need to get enough sleep, okay? 
to be functioning at your best and your mind is almost like a computer it needs to be rebooted it needs to be uh, defragmented it needs to kind of rest okay so you need to get enough sleep and one sure sign of you not getting enough sleep and neglecting sleep is you're gonna get massive migraines I feel like for the fire signs it's like chills and fevers if they don't get enough sleep but for you guys um, I feel like not only does it affect your judgment, it can also make you feel like, um, give you a lot of headaches and, and just, um, you know, the, the base of your neck, that area, like around the shoulder blades on the back, it's very tense. It's very naughty and it's very tense. And that's when you feel like, I, I feel you, you guys need to get enough sleep and you guys need to, you know, prioritize your health and take care of yourself and, you know, um, yeah, really focus on you. Focus on not only healing your heart, but also healing your body. Because I feel like there's so much. It's almost like being pulled in, in different direction on the professional uh, front. And I feel as if there's going to be somebody that comes in for the this week. When you're down or when you're confused or when you feel like, you know, am I doing the right thing? Not so much ethically, but s something about procedurally. Are you doing the right thing? Somebody is going to come in and kind of rescue you from it. So I see this in this card. Somebody is going to come in, take command of the situation, and kind of save the day. Okay? So not to worry so much. Just focus on you and, and getting enough sleep and getting letting your mind kind of recharge so that you can, you know, think clearly so that you're not uh, plagued with mental fog. You can make better decision. You can also make snap decisions and overall, you know, getting enough rest and taking care of your health. OK, um, if you're waiting on money coming through from a financial institution, if you're waiting for an offer coming through and if you've been on pins and needles waiting on this, you're going to get um, you're going to get a message. You're going to get communication. OK, this is like contact. It's going to happen for you. And there's going to be a discussion here. Money coming through from financial institutions or from a lender or even like promotions uh, on the work front. OK, so things will be OK. Don't stress out over it. All right. I hope the reading is helpful for you, Aquarius. Take care of yourself. OK, and try to get enough sleep for this week.